Hello everyone and welcome again to GGF Fresh. I am Ronnie Brown, your host as always. Last week, we determined a new number one contender for the GGF Global Championship as we saw Casey Manners bloody and batter a sedimentary stand. The first round of the tag team title tournament came to a finish as the final match of round one was won by Judas and Will Athens. Hab de Block was able to grab the bottom rope, but again, we've had a referee miss that and counted the three anyways. And finally, in a steel cage match for the first time ever, we crowned a new champion. Hal Organ defeated his brother Ryan in a vicious match where both competitors were fighting to escape. Tonight, we will see Hal's first title defense as he will take on KC Manners. But first, round two of the tag team title tournament begins now. Let's get down to ringside. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 496 pounds. Just like that, the second round has begun for the Tag Team Title Tournament. The winner of this match will go on to challenge for the title next week. And right now it looks like it's gonna be favoring the big bruising Brimstone and Exhibit here. The dummies have been able to get by by beating men with some very, very questionable tactics. Red Dummy again trying to weasel his way into any championship he can get. He attempted to enter the GGF Rumble twice by attacking Judas backstage. And when Judas, or by attacking Will Athens backstage, and when he was confronted and challenged by Will Athens, he was able to defeat him easily. And then we saw last week the ways continued for Red Dummy as we saw two weeks ago those mischievous ways were continuing for Red Dummy as Ar Dondre Archibald had his hand on the bottom rope, but the referee just so conveniently missed that and count the three to let them advance. So we're gonna have to see what tactics he is gonna pull out in this match here to take down these big behemoths. And it looks like Brimstone has no care in the world for ending this in the ring. He wants to inflict punishment. He wants to be sure that he is the last one standing in this match. As the count goes to eight, could he be counted out? Could Red Dummy get counted out? The count is to nine. Could it be 10? Oh my goodness! In quick fashion, the dummies are counted out. Red dummy left beaten on the barricade and Brimstone and Exhibit will move on. Here are your winners. 
shocking fashion there as the dummies could not manage any offense, could not even get back into the ring on time and exhibit and Brimstone will move on next week to become potentially the very first tag team champions in GGF history. And here we go. The second match of round two has begun. The winners of this match will go on to take on Jumbo Exhibit and Brimstone. And ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna have to see how this match will end because we it has been unpredictable from the word go. We saw the grunge in the very first match in this tournament. As they took on Smith and Carlson, and they moved on very early, so they have had a lot of ring, a lot of rest time here, and Athens and Judas were the last ones to check their spot into the next round. So definitely a lot more ring rust on the grunge here as Bruce gets his knee absolutely pulled into a completely different socket by Judas there. Bruce carrying him over to Will Athens. Maybe, maybe a little spit in the eyes there. Maybe a little, little, little talking trash. We have to see a big belly to box suplex there. As Bruce went on tagging Kurt. Again, Kurt and Bruce, big time bruisers from Seattle. Oh, dropping back. Breaker. Definitely the edge here goes to Grunge and Bruce. Kurt and Bruce, the Grunge brothers, as they have had more time tagging together. Judas and Athens are a little bit strange bedfellows, but they have had some, some history with each other. So they're not completely out of it, but as we saw last week, Athens We'll do whatever it takes to get off of his losing streak, get off of this bad time that he's been having. And maybe, just maybe, he was watching in the back. As we saw Brimstone do this exact same thing. He took it to Red Dummy on the outside. 
So Athens, he could be doing the same thing, thinking that if all we need is a count out victory to move on, maybe that's what I'll do. As the referee's count now is up to five. Athens dropping a DDT, he's already busted open, Kurt. And just driving that face and head into the very, very thin mats we have, but looks like he's gonna give him a fighting chance. Uh-oh, back on the outside. Kurt was waiting for it. Throw him back in. We're getting this. That's not the way we're going to end this match right here, right now. We're going to do it inside the ring the way real people do it. And you have to wonder, Judas had to have seen the tape from last week. He had to notice. Oh, no, a code breaker out of almost nowhere. And the cover here. Could it be it? Could it be all? No, a kick out. Maybe if that was to Kurt, that code breaker could have done it all. Uh-oh. And the Athens Tamer. Oh, but way too close to the ropes. Judas had no chance to get over there and help his partner. It looks like Athens is gonna do it all himself as he drives the knee up through the nose. Maybe that was just a wake-up call as Bruce is back up. And looks like, yes, he's got a little bit of blood coming from that eyebrow. And it looks like that knee did bust him open there. Uh-oh. Spinning him around. Uh-oh. This is what took out Athens when he faced Red Dummy. The boot in the back of the face. And the face meeting the mat. That's just a two count. Obviously, these competitors have studied each other very closely. And even their recent histories here in GGF. Kurt comes in with a flurry of offensive boots there. And that doesn't stop. The strikes keep going. Dropping him on that wrist. And that shoulder joint. Here we Judas coming back in. Bruce and Kurt are bloodied. And Judas and Athens are looking to take advantage of this bloody, oh no. Oh, right into the cut, driving that boot deeper and deeper into his skull. And you can see the blood trickling down his face. He's got to get out of there. And he will tag in Kurt. Take down, scissor the legs, turn him over. And it could it be another one? Face first into the mat. Rolls him over, goes for the cover. Athens not helping out. Could it be all? No, it won't. Kurt going to tag in Bruce. No, not now. Again. Oh, no. We got a sharpshooter. Shades of Ryan Oregon, our former GGF champion. After losing the cage match to his brother, but no. Athens able to get the drop kick in. And the referee not breaking him up, not getting him out of there. Hey! Drops him on the back of his head. The warning signs are here. Could the kill switch be hit? No, Judas unable to capitalize. And dropped Hangman across the throat on the rope. Trying to pull that arm out of the shoulder socket. All oh, the strength to lift him like a baby and drop him on his head. Please don't do that with your babies. So he'll now tag in Kurt here. Or Bru Kurt will tag in Bruce. And Bruce will go for the sharpshooter. Trying to finish this. Oh, but Athens able to get that drop kick in just like he did before. But the cover double trouble as Athens goes over the top. And that will be it. Bruce and Kurt will move on to face Jumbo Exhibit and Brimstone. Athens and Judas unable to capitalize off their fortunes. Neither team who got the good fortune of winning their first round match with some referee shenanigans. Neither team was able to capitalize on that as Kurt and Bruce will move on next week. Could they be our very first GGF Tag Team Champions? We will have to find out next week.
But now it's time for our GGF Global Championship match. It's Casey Manners is going to take on Hal Oregon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Global, Global Fighting Championship. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 191 pounds, K.C. Man. And introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 232 pounds, he is the global, global fighting champion, Paul. And here we go, our main event tonight. How Oregon defending the, the GGF Global Championship against KC Manners. And this match should be a high-flying action affair as both men, very talented on the ground, very talented through the air. And we're just gonna have to see which battle is going to be, or how the battle is going to be won. We saw Casey flying off the top of the frog splash. Could it be over already? Kick out at two. Hal has not been able to get out of the starting block here. Maybe it was the cage that allowed him to win the title last week. Could that be a fluke win? We're going to have to find out as now he is able to get back on offense. Big suplex, big one-two combo there. As he's going out of the ring. He's going up top. Both men like to fly. Twisting cross body from the champion. That's how Oregon going to work. Again, we know he has that technical prowess. Uh-oh. Off the ropes. Big knee drop. We know Casey is going to try to get that fantastic forearm off the top rope. Well, how Oregon, he can do a sharpshooter. He can do a big flying splash. And he can win just almost any way he needs to. We've seen him win with roll-ups. He's won with roll-ups. He's won with submissions. He's broken necks before. He will do whatever it takes to win a match. And especially to hold on to his championship. But right now, he's got to get off these ropes and avoid these kicks by Casey Manners. As he drop them. Oh, throw it across the top rope. Oh man, KC just going to work on Hal Oregon.
both men with impressive victories last week. Hal upsetting his brother and the reigning defending GGF champion. Oh, big 450 springboard. Could that be all? Kick out at two. Hal's got the reserve. KC with a tremendous victory over Sedimentary Stan. Not one to discount there, but here it comes. Fantastic forearm in the middle of the ring. Could we have our new champion just like that? No. KC unhappy. He knew he had to take down Stan with two forearms, but Hal has not given too much of a fight here. Oh, scooping him up. Sitting him down, dropping him down with that reverse DT. How has got to get back on offense here. We're just not seeing. Oh, here we go. Fighting back. Big chop there. Over the top. Big drop kick. Can we see a fly here? Uh oh, how? Perched up on top. KC getting up. Down on the floor. Twisting cross body to the floor. What a move. But KC fires right back up. Hits a standing jumping forearm and a neck breaker. Trying to get the offense. Trying to, to stop the momentum that held it. Dropped it on his head there, DDT. He's got to stop that momentum that Howe was building here, but KC's got to be aware. You cannot win the match. By a count out, he's got to get this back in the ring as we see some blood trickling from that forehead of Howe Oregon. KC going to work, bringing the offense, and now as the count goes to seven, he is going to get back in the ring. And show the fans, he's the next champion. But Hal has got to get back in the ring. Casey knows that. Hal would gladly take a count out, suckers him outside, and throws him down. Casey is a ball of fire right now. Those trunks are not the only thing that's red right now. KC Manners is going to work. Trying to win this match in the ring. Not allowing Howe to cheap out on this title defense. But Howe also has the ability to fight back here. As he's showing, I'm the king of the ring here. I'm the king of organs. This is my mountain rock that I, it, you have to come and take from me. But these two fighting back and forth, jostling on the outside. Referee trying to get a hold on this match, but unable to do so this far. The words of the referee's mouth are not making any impact. Not the same impact as the punches and slams of these competitors. Uh-oh, torture rack. Endo drops him on his head. Burning hammer there. Could that be all? As we see some blood trickle from the cheekbone of Casey Manners. This match has been brutal and bloody. And each man trying their hardest. Count of eight there. But again, Manners breaking it up, showing how. Oh, big hip toss there. This is the first time we've seen Hal in a regular match here on GGF. His first appearance was in the GGF Rumble, and his most recent appearance was in a steel cage, so he has not been able to exit the ring, and he is using that to his advantage. His matches have ended once he's gotten out of the ring, and now that he has full reign of the entire ringside area, he is using that to his domain. Referees count back up to six yet again. 
As the two battle on the spot of stairs, but big leg breaker weakening him up for the calf crusher. The lower limb breaker. Now a camel clutch. These two are battling it out. But unfortunately, this match not falls count anywhere, and these men know that. That's why they are breaking up the count before the referee's count gets too high. And could we be going back into the ring now? Has there been enough damage? Has there been enough punishment? As KC climbs back in the ring to break up the count. And here we go, fantastic form. Could it be all? Yes, it will. And the blood trickles from the eye as the referee will count. One, two, no. Not so easily, not so fast. Uh-oh, but KC, does he have another one in the tank? Can Hal kick out of this? Can he counter it? Can he do anything? He'll miss. And Hal, defending his title, whipping him into the corner. Firing a flurry of punches to the head. The resolve of our champion as he hits the 10th punch on Casey Manor's forehead. And that has got to weaken him. Could that be enough? Could he be set up? What could we see here? He's stalking his opponent here. What could we be seeing? Leg trip, crosses the leg, sharpshooter! The sharpshooter by Hal Oregon! The firework has got it locked in! Could we be seeing a title defense yet again? No! But our competitors have been known to do double trouble, but this time double trouble is in the form of a camel clutch! As KC inches away from the ropes, I can only see it, but all those robes came into effect there. KC was able to slip behind, leg trip back outside, giving himself a breather, but that will also give Hal a breather as well. Both men catching their breaths, getting their wits about them, and Hal knowing that, trying to drive all of those wits out of the mind of KC Manners trying to weaken him down, saying, I am the champion, I will be the champion until this show goes off the air. And just taking it to him. We've seen Hal use a power driver in his past before, and that has almost crippled people, has damaged people's careers with power drivers, so he will have to, uh, that could be what we're seeing here. He's got him up on his shoulders. Oh my goodness, into the barricade. Folks, those are steel barricades just covered with a light tarp. As we saw, those barricades can do a lot of damage as Brimstone took it to Red Dummy and was able to get a count out victory. But here, championship match, both men not wanting to win by count out as a sit out face buster there from Casey Manners is driven on the floor. Back into the ring, can we be seeing an inside out? Both men taunting each other. What can we be seeing here? Oh! A quick kick, followed up driving his opponent's head into the turnbuckle there. Oh, but Hal knew it was coming. He still have some wits inside of that brain there. Uh-oh, can we see it? Sharpshooter here! He's got it locked in! Center of the ring! Could we be seeing an, a title defense here? Yeah, yeah, yes, we will! Hal Oregon fought through a beating on the outside. Two fantastic forearms, saw the third one coming and dodged it, and that was his opening. That was his opening. To stay in this match as we see the two fantastic forearms. Again, we see that second one. 
And this is where we thought it could be all. This is where he was busted open. But he kicked out. And he was able to hit two. He was able to lock in the sharpshooter twice. And it looks like that second time was just enough as we see Casey Manners tap out. Here is your winner. And still global, global fighting champion. And there you see it, ladies and gentlemen. Our champion is still an Oregon. Hal Oregon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in tonight as we still have a GGF Global Champion. But next week, we will have Tag Team Champions. And until then, we will see you. I have been Ronnie Brown. Thank you very much. And we will see you next week on GGF Fresh.